in my mind, there is a great deal of teachers out there that are already at the hat and already at the lead level. The challenge for them is being able to show to someone external how they're actually meeting those standards. This isn't a process that you can just choose to do in five minutes. It takes time and a range of information to be able to pull together and collate. Map yourself out on the assessment tools, do the AITSL teacher reflection, to see where your baseline is and then set some personal goals and professional goals and work from there. It was phenomenal professional development. It forces teachers to reflect on their practice. Sometimes we find that challenging with new ideas and new ways of working, but good practitioners are reflecting all the time. Something I could have done better was my time management. Some things were a bit rushed towards the end of the process and I definitely needed to develop a culture of evidence gathering. Get your family on board. Get your peers and your school on board with you and they'll support you in the process. Don't just find one critical friend, find many. The more people you can get on board and helping you out is really beneficial to you. What I found rewarding about the process is learning that I did know more than I realised I did and that I was making a difference to other people and I didn't realise that I was. Stuff that I was doing in the classroom was being used by other people and I would never have known that if I didn't go looking for it. And for me it's become more than that now, it's become the fact that I feel so incredibly proud of myself and my achievements. I gained an amazing self-reflection opportunity. This is the best PD that anyone could ever do. It does really make you think about what you do and knowing that what you're doing is making an impact on your students and your colleagues is really rewarding.